Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will explain Maxwell's fourth equation with integral form as well as with point form. Point form and differential form both are same. In this video, I will derive Maxwell's fourth equation with integral form and differential form. One should know Maxwell's fourth equation that is based on Ampere circuit law. Ampere circuit law states that line integration of magnetic field intensity over enclosed loop is equals to total current enclosed by that loop. For example, if you have wire like this and as if current is passing through wire in this vertical upward direction, then as per right hand thumb rule, magnetic field intensity that is having this direction, right? And line integration of magnetic field intensity over enclosed loop that is equals to total current passing through this wire, right? So here, if I say we have a wire and through this wire, let us assume current I is flowing, then because of this current I, there will be formation of magnetic field lines and direction of magnetic field that is there as per right hand thumb rule. So it will be happening in this direction. You can observe as per ampere circuit law, line integration of magnetic field intensity that is equals to total current enclosed by this loop. So here we have magnetic field intensity H. If you do line integration of magnetic field intensity over enclosed loop, then that is total current enclosed by this loop. See here, we have seen that with this wire current is I. But sometimes in time varying field, this total current that is having two components. One is conduction component and second is differential component. Differential component is there due to time varying field. So here, this current I that is having two different components. One is conduction component and second is differential component. This conduction component that is there because of supply which we give it to wire and this differential component that is there due to time varying field. So line integration of magnetic field intensity over enclosed loop that is equals to total current enclosed by this loop. That is what? Ampere circuit law. Now, using this equation, we will identify integral form. So, here we have a current I and current I that can be represented in form of current charge density. If you have current charge density J, then current is equals to surface integration of current charge density. So, total current I that can be represented by current charge density that is surface integration of current charge density. See current charge density can also have two components. One is JC as per IC and second is JD as per ID. So this current charge density that can also have two different components. One is there due to conduction current charge density and second is there due to differential current charge density. Differential current charge density that is there due to time varying field, right? Now we can compare these two equations. Let us say this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Based on that, we can have Maxwell's fourth equation in form of integral form. So, line integration of magnetic field intensity that is equals to total current and total current as per current charge density that is surface integration of current charge density, right? So, this is integral form of Maxwell's fourth equation, right? Let me note down that. Now, I will derive point form of Maxwell's fourth equation. If you observe, this is integral form and from integral form, we can derive 
point form or one can say differential form. Here we have a relation in between line integral and surface integral. To convert line integral into surface integral, we can use Stokes theorem. So as per Stokes theorem, you can convert this line integral, which is magnetic field intensities line integral into surface integral. To have a surface integral, we need to have curl of magnetic field intensity, right? So now we have surface integral and that is equals to surface integration of current charge density, right? And here we have surface integration that one can cancel from both of the side. So we will be having del cross H that is equals to current charge density J. So this is equation B and this equation is point form of Maxwell's fourth equation, right? I have seen sometimes students are saying like in their book, equations are different. See, equations are these only. Only thing is they may represent this equation with conduction and differential form. Like you see, as I have told you, this current I that could be represented in form of conduction current and differential current. Similarly, we will be having J in form of conduction current charge density and differential current charge density, right? So here we have integral form, right? This integral form that may be represented in form of conduction current charge density and differential current charge density. So in some books you might have observed they may be representing this equation as per line integration of magnetic field intensity that is equals to surface integration of current charge density where current charge density that is a combination of conduction current charge density and differential current charge density and one should know see this differential current charge density that is present only if we have time varying field. So this is the equation which is there for non time varying field and for time varying field we will be having this equation in integral form. Let us say this is equation C and similarly in point form we will be having del cross H that is equals to JC plus JD, right? Let us say this is equation D and this equation C and equation D both are available in case of time varying field, right? So this is how one can derive Maxwell's fourth equation in point form means differential form and in integral form and one should know Maxwell's fourth equation that is based on Ampere circuit law. If you want to understand Ampere circuit law with great details then you just go through my last video in this video lecture series of electromagnetic theory in which I have explained Ampere circuit law with great clarity and still if any questions are there then just post that in comment section I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.